If you use spark lines in Excel, you may come across a situation like this. Two different spark lines, same data, but as you can see, this is showing right at the bottom and this over here. Now you'll notice that when I click on them, a blue line appears everywhere. So what this means is these have been grouped for a reason. So what I can do is if I don't want them to be grouped, they mustn't be aware of each other and consider each other's axes, because that's what's happening here. I can highlight them and I can either right click, go to spark lines and ungroup, or else when you're on there, there's a spark line here. And when I click ungroup, you'll see these are no longer grouped together, in which case they no longer consider the axes and whether they should be using the same axes. And therefore, you'll see they now show that shape. I'm just going to undo it. Another way you could have done it when it was still in the group mode is if you go to axes, you'll see we've actually chosen that the minimum and the maximum value should be the same for all spark lines. I'm just going to change it and say automatic for each spark line. So what that's now doing is actually considering each spark line on its own. So even though this one is in the 20s, and this one's in the 4000s, the axis is shown in a relative size.